All right, I'm going to talk about like how to launch Chrome browser using Selenium. So let me go to Chrome browser. And uh, right now I'm on the selenium.in tab. Okay, so this is the official website uh, for Selenium. And uh, you can reach out to this particular website for any documentation purpose and also download purpose. And uh, you can also refer for other things. So just to click on this uh, download button. And uh, if you scroll down, then you'll be seeing like Selenium client and web driver language bindings. So Selenium actually provides uh, various language bindings like C Sharp, Ruby, Java, Python, and C uh, JavaScript. So right now we are interested in uh, Selenium with the Java since we have JDK and uh, Java installed on our machine. So let me go to the previous releases and because I don't want to work on the latest one. So latest one is 4.8.0. So let me go to uh, below section and select some old select like the old uh, version of uh, selenium which is 3.141.59 and uh, scroll down a bit and let me select this uh, selenium java zip file and download it so it has started downloading and uh, let it get download and uh, let me go to the folder 3.141.59 so let me go inside this and let me copy this path and go to Eclipse. So right now my Eclipse is launching and uh, once it gets launched, I'll just create a new project inside Eclipse. So let the Eclipse get uh, launched. It will take some time in launching it. Yeah, so it has started launching. So right now I am on Eclipse uh, 2022 version. So it has started launching and let me create a new project selenium java project selenium demo and click on finish let me select java se8 and let me click on finish and i'll just try to open this project I'll just try to open this project. Let me create a working set and uh, select a working set. New working set. Okay. I'll just select the first one. This is the additional step. This is not a mandatory one. So let me create a new package here. Call it as browser test and let me create a java class with name launch test all right so let me create a new main method okay but before writing the script uh, we have to do one of the important step and that is like adding all the selenium java client libraries so in order to do that, you just go to build path, add external archives, and go to the folder where we have downloaded your Selenium client libraries. So this is the folder where we have downloaded. Let me select this one, click on open. So you can see a reference library section has been added and all the jars are being placed here. So we'll have to repeat this step once more because we have the jar files presented in two different folders. So let me go to the lips folder and select this one all right so we have uh, added all the jar files that is required for selenium okay and let me minimize this one and start writing code for launching from the driver so we'll say web driver web driver driver is equal to new chrome driver and driver dot manage dot window dot maximize driver dot get https google dot com and I'll print the page title to ensure we are on the right page. Also, let me print the page URL. So I'll say driver dot get current URL and I'll say driver dot close. All right. And let me run this as Java application. So once we run this, we get this exception, which says like a Java 
lang dot illegal state exception uh, and to further if you read it says the path to the driver executables must be set by the web driver dot chrome dot driver system property okay so we are getting this because in order to work with the chrome browser we have to download a exe file okay and uh, we have to download and add in the project so let me minimize this one so firstly we should know like which uh, browser version we are working on right now so let me go to help and go to about uh, google chrome so this is the version we are working on right now let me open a new tab and uh, say chrome chrome driver for version this and click on the first one and uh, right now we are working on chrome uh, version triple one so click on this link and download the chrome driver executables so over here on this page you will see various download option so if you are working with chrome driver linux so you have to select the first uh, first one and if you are working with mac operating system then you have to select this one and uh, if you are working with chrome driver mac arm um, 64 then you have to download this one right now we are on windows and for windows we have to different configuration like windows 32 and windows 64 so we have only one zip file for both so let me click on this and download this one so i think it has got downloaded so let me go to the folder where it has been downloaded and extract this so i have already downloaded this one and extracted let me go to this and uh, select this particular file so once we go to this page and i think we can add inside uh, this project and uh, we can directly add uh, this uh, inside the project so i think i have already copied this let me recheck so this is the executable files okay and i'll just place inside this project itself so that it is not asking me for any relative path kind of thing so it is directly pointed to that and now if i run this it will launch the chrome browser all right so you can see the chrome browser has been launched and it has been closed and in our script we had uh, written to print the page title so this is the page title which is google and this is the page url uh, which has been uh, printed right so this was the uh, uh, complete video regarding this one in which like we are launching the chrome browser using uh, selenium and uh, right now we have this exe file that you see here right so this exe file is present inside the root directory of this project we can place this uh, chrome primary exe file in some other location and we can uh, place the relative path of this and we can point it in order to uh, pick it from there so right now it is in the root folder so we do not need to provide it since uh, it is already picked up by the uh, eclipse all right so that's all in this video thanks for watching